Last night, the DNC started their convention where they were going to nominate Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Tim Walz to be the presidential and vice presidential nominees in the 2024 election. They started the night introducing President Joe Biden to a roaring crowd. Of the United States, Joe Biden! Now, mind you, this is politics because they're all Democrat delegates, so they're all fans of the president. He was introduced by his daughter, Ashley Biden. Again, politics. He cannot have Hunter Biden introduce him because of the controversy surrounding Hunter Biden. Politics. But Joe Biden got a standing ovation and it went on and he had tears and it was great. And he talked for a few minutes and he passed the torch to Kamala. Meanwhile, Trump was in Pennsylvania hoping to usurp the party that was going on in Chicago by having a presser and talking about manufacturing jobs and trying to bring back jobs to Pennsylvania and the United States. I'm going to get back to that in a minute. Matter of fact, let's do it right now. They brought out former Secretary of State, former First Lady, former Senator Hillary Clinton, and she tore the house down with this statement. There's a lot of energy in this room, just like there is across the they brought her out for this reason she was supposed to have been the one who broke the glass ceiling but just like she said in 2016 she put a thousand more cracks in the glass ceiling so they brought her out to say hey i may not have broke it but kamala harris is going to shatter it so that was her job to give people a history of women voting in this country meanwhile in pennsylvania Trump gave a lackluster performance about what he was going to do about bringing jobs back. Has ever been able to do it. Our plan will massively cut taxes, unlock American energy, slash regulations, big factor, crack down on trade cheaters and stop outsourcing, rebuild our industrial base and bring back those beautiful words made in the USA. While he was putting everybody to sleep in Pennsylvania, they put Congressman Jasmine Crockett on the stand and she did what Hillary could not do. She attacked. On November 5th, our nation will hire a president, a commander in chief and leader of the free world. So let's compare their resumes, shall we? One candidate worked at McDonald's while she was in college at an HBCU. The other was born with a silver spoon in his mouth and helped his daddy in the family business. Housing discrimination, that is. She became a career prosecutor while he became a career criminal. With 34 felonies, two impeachments, and one porn star to prove it. She's always worked for one client, the people. Meanwhile, he's a 78-year-old, lifelong predator, fraudster and cheat known for inciting violent mobs meanwhile again in pennsylvania trump went on attacks talking about the press and he had to go back to some 20 year old punchlines or taglines or whatever someday the media is going to become real media instead of fake media and you're going to see a big difference in the country comrade kamala harris you're fired get out you're not doing the job get out and the man could not stay on message i guess because the audience wasn't into it so he had to go back to those tired lines of you, you, you here it is and by the way i had my own classified documents case and i was totally exonerated totally it was a case brought by joe biden and kamala she was involved uh, they uh, did that in order to interfere with the election, and it still goes on. The case was won a month ago. Very little coverage of the case being won, I must say. I think that a lot of the media didn't even talk about it. The one I thought was funny is when he said, hey, I don't need this job, so hire me anyway. I would have made billions of dollars in this job if I wanted to play that game the way they played it, but instead I took the job very seriously and very importantly. And I'm proud to announce that doing and being president, I lost billions of dollars. And I knew that would happen. Maybe not quite as much as that, but I'm... Yeah. Now, I think if Joe Biden had stayed in the race, it was going to be a tight one. I think a lot of people were going to hold their nose and vote for Joe Biden because they did not want Trump. But now the Democrats are enthused 
And now we get to see, in actuality, Trump's campaign. And it's just as sleepy as the quote-unquote Sleepy Joe. What do you think? 